having you know been through the traumas of war, you know losing guys you were deployed with, uh, losing my parents, and just struggles in life. I wasn't always really open with it. I didn't want people to know that I was hurting and you know messing up and getting in trouble at work with the law. I mean, my life was spiraling out of control. And then when you know I was finally able to understand a, a way away from this, I realized the, the, the strength of vulnerability and telling my story and being open, I was being reached out to by many veterans saying like, hey, you know, thank you for putting yourself out there because I was dealing with the same thing and you let me know without directly telling me or calling me uh, or speaking to me in person, I knew that I wasn't alone and that what I was dealing with wasn't just me and I wasn't the only one, you know, for lack of a better term, screwed up. You know, that, and I knew that there was a way to attack this and that, that uh, uh, we could do it together. My name is Ryan Bodwin. I'm from Wrightstown, Wisconsin. I was in the U.S. Marine Corps from 2000 to 2007. Uh, with one combat deployment to Iraq in 2004 and 2005. My first Horicon Marsh veterans duck hunt was in the year of 2011. Um, I was in a really bad spot when I got invited on this hunt. Um, I was already battling PTSD and mental health, severe substance abuse, and that summer I lost my mother and father uh, two months apart to cancer. Um, another Marine had heard about this event and he called me and told me, you know, I know what's going on in your life. You need to get out and, you know, go do stuff. I know you hunt. Here's this duck hunt. You're going. It saved my life. It sent me on a path uh, where I'm at today in, in, in the hunting industry, hunting world. And, and, and now I've come full circle where I take other vets on hunts uh, because I want to give them the gift of the outdoors as it was given to me. That first year, 2011, I showed up. I mean, they didn't have a sign up. It, it's not that they weren't organized. It just wasn't. It wasn't that big. It was. There was six vets, I believe, over the course of the weekend. Um, all of us amongst each other had talked about how genuine this was. I mean, you get a handshake in public when somebody knows you're a veteran and, and a thank you for your service. That's that's awesome. You know, it's much appreciated. Uh, doesn't go unnoticed. But this was like like for real, legit, like thank you and, 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 and just real. Um, so we had talked amongst, amongst each other and said like, you know, more guys need to experience this and, and see this is how really small town America, how they feel about us. And, and, and I sat down with Ryan Voy and Chuck Dodge, the two founders of this event and said like, how big do you want this next year? You give me a number and I'll bring you that many vets and I think they said 15 or 20 and the next year was 30 the next year was 50 and I think the last five to six years we've taken 85 veterans out over the course of the weekend and, and you know that's what we can, about what we can handle logistically but that's a pretty neat thing uh, about nine years ago this is my ninth year in the event uh, Ryan Bodwin reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to duck hunt I had never duck hunted before and I was like Sure. So uh, I showed up with basically a shotgun and, uh, and a dream, and uh, just turned into a uh, my f my favorite event for the entire year. Uh, this is like Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter, and everything just rolled into one, and I absolutely love it. 2015 was my first year. Um, I got the invite, and I never hunted ducks, so I came up and instantly fell in love with it. I couldn't wait to come back. Um, 51 weeks a year, I pretty much wait for this weekend. I can't. I just can't wait. That's all I think about. This is probably the single event that I look forward to most out of all the things I do. Uh, it's an opportunity to fellowship, see some faces, uh, you know, some people that, that share some of the bonds that we have that, you know, it, it's kind of rare, you know. Hanging out with fellow veterans uh, kind of replenishes um, my soul a little bit. I love working with veterans, I love being around veterans, and it, it impacts the, my quality of life. I got involved with this event 14 years ago with you know, the, the perception of we, we knew a guy that lost his son and we wanted to do something for veterans. I was raised by a World War II combat Marine and 
I think a lot of the country and think a lot of our veterans and it was kind of an easy decision to say, yeah, let's do something. Having been through the struggles myself and, and, and seeing what, you know, hunting and being outdoors can do for you, uh, you get to these events and you will see guys that are struggling. Um, think the event is not the hunt, that's the setting. Uh, the event is the camaraderie between the other veterans, uh, even just the, uh, the relationships and the interactions between volunteers and guides and uh, the authenticity of that, it's real, it's community. And you know, you build a network here uh, of people that become, you may not have served with them or they may not even have served, uh, of people that, that become almost a family where you, you can depend on each other, you can call each other, you can lean on each other. There's multiple guys here that I have called when I'm struggling in my life still and, and vice versa. You know, it, 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 it's pretty cool and it, and it just happens organically, it unfolds in the setting of the outdoors. Um, this event has saved lives. It, it definitely has saved veterans' lives. Uh, of course, when this event first came up, we, we never had any ideas or thoughts that that's what it was. We were just taking people out duck hunting. And it just has turned into so much more than that. It's gaining traction and we're getting people from all over, you know, that are, that are now wanting to be involved and want to help and they want to help for the right reasons. They want to help to, you know, to help vets and to try to give back what we feel is owed to them. I've been guiding here for, this is my second year, and uh, I do it just because I believe I should give back a little bit to uh, the veterans and this is the only way I know how. For all of us, we, we do it because one, we, we want to give back, two, we love the marsh and um, getting anybody to experience the marsh is kind of what we're all about. The more that uh, we see people enjoying it, the more we enjoy it. So having attended this event for over a decade, and you know, now starting to put my own events on across the country, the thing that is the blueprint is the community. We have a waiting list for, for guides. My inbox on social media, all year long, is guys like, hey, I live in this area, I wanna come help out, I wanna guide. There's a waiting list. We have over 200 volunteers besides guides. Uh, the amount of donations, the amount of uh, people that just live here that uh, bring down food or help cook or we've got a, a crew that sets up and a different crew that cleans up. The entire community of Horicon and, and surrounding area uh, know about this event and 100% support it. It makes me have faith in, in, in the core of this country. Uh, small town America is still alive and it, it, it's right here in action. The first thing that gets me is you get out there, you're it's zero dark 30 and you get in this boat and these guys are doing 20 miles an hour through cattails and bogs and all this. I'm thinking they're half crazy in the first place. All of a sudden the guide will cut down into a trail that's been cut with pro drives and mud motors and you're whipping through there, you're going like, we're never getting out of here. I have no idea where we were, uh, but we finally make it out to the area and uh, we get the, the decoys set out and all that stuff. And, and then. Then it's just kind of like a real calming, relaxing. It's so calm over the marsh. And then, you know, you're filled with this few moments of excitement. When birds start coming in, you're jumping up, and you got your guide saying, take it. And I'm saying, take what? <laughs> you know? There's so many stories that I have and so many stories that veterans have shared with me personally, uh, whether it's back here at the event or sitting out in the dark um, in the marsh. Being out there and experiencing mother nature and experiencing the, the, the beauty of the ducks, the beauty of the animals, the beauty of the sunrise, the marsh itself is, is part of the healing process. The number one thing I hear out here from vets across the board is I don't even care if I shoot anything, I'm just happy to be here and be with the boys.
you get to an event like this, you're out in the duck blind, and th there's a security blanket there um, where guys start opening up and telling stories, telling stories they, they might not have told in years uh, with someone who understands it and had similar experiences. And you start to let it, let it go and be like, all right, it's, it, that, was, that was normal for us. And, and you have that ability to just, uh, just kind of let it off your chest. There is a lot of peace in, in, in knowing that when you are able to share something, somebody else isn't gonna judge you. I'm happy to say that I'm now at a place where we could go out on that marsh and not see a single duck, not shoot a single duck, and I'm enjoying the beauty of the outdoors and giving that to other people and, and teaching other people uh, the skills I've learned uh, throughout the years. This event, like, it's in here. Like, it, it's not going anywhere for, for me and for other guys. Like, everybody's got their first stories of something out here or just a story that comes from this place that you can't recreate and you can't fabricate somewhere else. It's here and that's why guys come back and that's why other guys tell other guys, hey, you need to come to this. You know, using hunting and using the outdoors uh, as a healing tool for, for PTSD and mental health uh, is just one tool in the toolbox that we can give these guys. And I think the, the, the biggest thing they find out there is peace, tranquility, uh, as well as the camaraderie.